Hi students, I'm back with a video today to practice another set of difficult vocabulary. Um, in previous videos, we have practiced the set with feel, fall, fell, um, fill, full, file, um, and that set which is so close in our mouth. Another video we practiced through, though, thorough, thought, tough, that really difficult um, set. Today we're looking at another set of difficult vocabulary words for um, pronunciation, where the pronunciation of the words is very similar, but the meaning of the words is very different. Um, as always, make sure that you leave a comment below if there is a set of words that's really difficult for you or a pair of vocabulary that's difficult for pronunciation. Um, I've got a list of other words that we'll practice for future videos, but I'm always happy to take your suggestions too. So we're looking at this nearly identical set of words. Today we're looking at the set that you see here on the screen with like, lake, leak, lock, luck, look, lick, and lack. This is a set of eight where the only thing changing throughout the set is this sound, um, the vowel sound in the middle. All of these, all of these have the same l and k sound at the end, even though here you see k and e. Here with luck you see c and k. With look you see only the k. All of them have the same k sound at the end of the word. So let's jump into first the um, pronunciation, then we'll do a short meaning, then we'll do an extended meaning, and then we'll put all the words together so that you can hear the difference between all of them in one small passage. All right? So pronunciation. Our first word of like, Ike. You should hear I, I, I. And your mouth should be a little bit larger, like, Ike like, like. You see that my mouth is a little bit wider, kind of an oval shape on my lips when I say like. When we come to lick, eh, 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 there is some tension over here. Lick, eh, eh, like, ike, ike, lick, eh, eh. A little bit tighter on my lips. Lick. When we come to lake, a, 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 think about the sound that you hear in the word day, day. Like, lick, lake. My mouth goes a lot taller for lake. Like, lick, lake. Lack has an ah, ah, ah sound, and my mouth is even taller compared to lake. Like, lick, lake, lack. Like, lick. Do you see the tension change between like, lick, lake, lack? The height of my mouth is changing. Lake, lack. E, leak. This is very tight. This is very tight for my lips of leak, leak. I can even feel it in my throat when I say e, e, e. It pulls. It pulls on the, the tendons in my neck. Like, lick, leak. Watch the tension of my mouth change between like, lick, and leak. You will see my cheeks get pulled farther back. Like, lick, leak. Lock, ock. Your mouth should be tall and skinny with lock. Lock, lack. 
My mouth is much wider, round with black. Lock, it's taller and skinny. Lack, lock. Luck, luck, my lips are very loose and round. And then look, look, my lips are very low and small. Luck, loose, no tension, luck, look, look. All eight, all eight together. Like, lick, lake, lack, leak, luck, lock, look. Okay, a really quick review of the meaning, and then we'll come into a longer, more detailed review of the meanings. Like, of course, is the verb meaning enjoy something or want something. Lick is touching something with your tongue. Um, children like to try and lick their noses. Lake is a medium-sized body of water. Lack means you do not have sufficient of something. Leak is liquid or fluid coming out of something. Lock, I am making something unable to open. Luck has the meaning of fortune. It could be good luck or bad luck. And look, of course, is our meaning for see. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to just go a little bit deeper into the meaning of these eight words then now that we've gone um, pretty deep into the pronunciation and the sound comparison between the words. So of course, we should know the word like. Like is a verb, something that I enjoy to do. What do you like to do in the morning? She liked to swim when she was younger. A change from like, like to lick. Remember that there's that small change of tension in the lips between like, Lick, like, blah, 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 like, lick. Lick, of course, is touching something with your tongue, or we use it sometimes as a noun to mean the touch. For example, my first sentence here says I licked the dripping ice cream. My second sentence here, lick is being used as a noun. Can I have one lick? This is the thing that I am doing. When we come to lake and lack, remember lack having that huge mouth. Lake is a medium-sized body of water. For example, in the sentence, they swam in the lake. And then I've added a few different words here for comparison. Um, pool being a very small area of water, usually feeling controlled by people, controlled by um, maybe cleaner when I hear the word pool. Pond, feeling slightly larger. Lake, feeling significantly larger. And then, of course, sea and ocean, feeling a lot larger. I've also added these four words that we use in different ways for um, bodies of water. The word swamp. Swamp is a wet area of land. There's a lot of swamp area in Florida. Um, there's often standing water throughout the year. Uh, but trees and grass and all of those things continue to grow. Then we have these three words of harbor, bay, and gulf. And these are typically areas along the ocean where the ocean will come into the land. So there will be three sides or even like 270 degrees of land and a small entrance at the bottom where the water from the ocean will come into the land. Um, bay, in my opinion, feels smaller than gulf. Harbor specifically feels like there are boats being parked in it. it, has a commercial feeling. So my difference again between lake, lake, and lack, lack. When I lack something, I don't have sufficient. I don't have enough of it. I lack enough money 
to buy a new car. She said that she was lacking time. I can also use this as a noun, a lack of something. Um, a lack of money is what pushed him into crime. A lack of time. Our next set of words here with leak, leak. Remember that your lips should feel very tight with leak, leak. Like, lick, leak. Those three, like, lick, leak. Your lips become significantly tighter as you move from like, lick, leak. Leak and lock, lock, lack, ack. My lips are a little bit rounder, lack, lock. Leak, of course, is liquid or fluid leaving something. The sink was leaking all night. The ice maker in my freezer leaked and flooded the kitchen. Leak can also be a noun. There is a leak under the sink. The same with lock. Lock can be a verb or a noun. It can mean make something unable to open, or it can be the physical object that makes it unable to open. For example, she locked her apartment when she went to work. I think I forgot to lock my car. I put a lock on my bike, a bike lock. And then our last two words here with luck and look. Luck meaning fortune as a noun. Sometimes we talk about good luck and bad luck. Um, she had good luck last week. What a piece of bad luck. And we also use this phrasal verb of luck out, which means have good luck. I never use the phrase luck out to mean bad luck. We lucked out when we found that. It was a lucky situation. It was good luck. Luck and look. Luck, luck look look of course is a verb can also be a noun look means see regard using your eyes as a noun sometimes it can mean style or fashion for example my first sentence here as a verb make sure you look both ways before crossing the street as a noun i like your new look today so you know i love to take all of these eight words and put them into one sentence so you can hear the pronunciation difference and you can feel the meaning difference between them. But I really struggled with these eight words to make one cohesive sentence that made sense. So I've actually got three different little sentences. Okay, our first piece here says, my husband would like to live at the lake. Like to live at the lake. However, I lack the desire to live in nature like, lake, lack. The leak under my sink was just bad luck. Leak, luck. Did you look and check the lock? Did you look and check the lock? And then finally here, quick, lick your ice cream before it melts. As always, leave me some sentences in the comments below if you have any questions. If you have another set of difficult vocabulary words, um, I think this is my last set of words that I've been thinking about. So if you have another set of four, five, six different words that are very similar, what I do have are a lot of pairs of words where there are just two that are very similar in their pronunciation but very different in meaning. So I do have a plan to make some videos um, just looking at some pairs of words as opposed to looking at a whole set. But if you can't think of another whole set of six, seven, eight words that all sound very similar but have very different meanings, let me know what the words are and we can make a video to review those. Until next time, take care students.